While you're positioning, we have a question um, for a serious question. We uh, are all going to PDXCon. That's true. I'm going to hit the main stage of PDXCon, mm -hmm. and I am going to show off Heavy Metal <laughs> with our friend Ryan Burrell. Mm. Right? Me and Ryan are going to go up there, and we're going to show you the kit and mm. the caboodle. And that's, I the believe... The whole kit and caboodle? Yeah. That's a lot of, that's just, a lot of things. Uh, that's a lot of things. Careful, you. That's a lot yeah, of things. Yeah, that's a lot of things. So we're going to show you the kit and the caboodle uh, with, uh, with a live demonstration, which just is <laughs> like, hey, you just signed up for it, well, man. Well, look at that. Fuck it. We'll do it live. Guess it's happening. Ow, that hurt, too. And live from Hairbrain Scheme Studios in uh, whatever, Kirklandia, uh, Washington. Sure. Uh, this is Mitch Plays to Wind. I am Mitch. That is not Zach. No. <laughs> and I am not Holly, either. Uh, you're neither Zach nor Holly, neither fish nor fowl. Uh -huh. Instead, you are Monahan. Yeah. <laughs> I am Monahan. This is my personal career mode uh, playthrough. Uh, we are now, what's that say, 128? Yeah, that's not many days left. Uh, yeah, I well, mean, until I get my score. Right, right. But I mean, like, that's not a lot of time left to take action. I mean, what's your goal here? Survival. Okay. okay. <laughs> uh, it's that Rocky thing, right? From Rocky, well, I just want to go the distance. Wow. <laughs> I just want to survive. You know what it's like mm. running an independent studio? Mm, just trying to cruise to a decision win. <laughs> yeah. Not, not wow. going for the knockout. Welcome to the Argo. It has seen better days. I refuse to, refuse to make it look good. I will well, say I, that... You've, you've purchased one of the upgrades on the I have exterior, pu I have pushed this two, right? So what do we got here, just for the record? Got that shit. So yeah, I got yeah, a uh, the structure. Uh, you got two of the structure upgrades. You actually have just one left before yeah. it gets all nice and pretty. And then what? What do I get if I do? Uh, that? It looks What's beautiful. The, uh, I mean, yeah, no, it's a beautification I'm, project. I don't do those. <laughs> <laughs> have we met? There's a piece of advice here that's actually fairly interesting. It's from our old friend Prussian Havoc. And hey, PH, uh, his advice is slowly slide the keyboard to the side that I'm on, such that victory can be achieved. You see how that goes? No. But I think he's trying to change it from Mitch plays to win to Connor guarantees oh, to win. Oh, I yeah. see what you did there. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, that's off brand. Yeah, <laughs> you go very armor heavy. I'm noticing this. You're putting faith in in steel over perhaps I don't know other things. That Tactics. Yeah, maybe that. Huh? Weaponry. I don't Somebody know. maybe knows himself. <laughs> hey, you see where I'm going? Play to your strengths, man. Play uh, to your strengths. This, my strength being, like, I know who the fuck I am. There you go. <laughs> exactly right. Question. Please. What have been your most memorable Battletech moments that haven't been streamed? Oh, actually playing the game. Um, That's what I'm guessing. Yeah, I mean, I imagine right, playing Because you don't stream game development much. And uh, if, if you do, yeah, whew, Yeah, <laughs> it's not always the you most fun. go for fun. the net 20. Uh, are you cool with me? Just what do you think? I'm just um, for it. Left. on an ambush convoy mission of this size. Oh, yeah, you might right. be facing more vehicles than max. I would say, yeah, yeah two right. nines fine because you'll want to get some cash. Also, the ambush convoy contracts are artificially incentivized with more cash by Kiva so that people take them because they're not. I'll be the first to admit, the most action-packed of our missions. Oh, this so. is a, m right, max 200, where are we? We're good? Right underneath the limit. Right, that's because last time somebody in chat showed me how to do it. All right, let's go. Samiri says, okay, Commander, according to Umbra, the convoy will be carrying a black box with data on the locations of the stolen Raven and Black Caldera's defenses, secret R&D lab. What could they possibly be cooking? What are they building in there? What the hell are they building in there? <laughs> Yang, uh, I'd expect any vehicle carrying such valuable data to be well defended, so keep your eyes open. We've never gone up against Black Caldera's security team, and we don't know what they're likely to be armed with, but I'm going to guess it's Battle Max. While you're positioning, we have a question um, for a serious question. When oh. can we expect to get heavy metal news? Oh, don't, don't need it now, but... Just uh, don't want to miss when you announce that Natasha Kerensky is in the region trying to make friends and or enemies. I am going to answer that question directly. Are you ready for this? Go for it. Fire up the converters, Chewy. It goes like this. We uh, are all going to PDXCon. That's true. I'm going to hit the main stage of PDXCon, mm -hmm. and I am going to show off <laughs> heavy metal with our friend Ryan Burrell. Mm. Right? Me and Ryan are going to go up there, and we're going to show you the kit and mm. the caboodle. And that's, I the believe... The whole kit and caboodle? 
Yeah, that's a lot of that's just, a lot of things. Uh, that's a lot of things. Careful, you. That's a lot of yeah, things. Yeah, it's a lot. Of, it's a lot of things. So we're going to show you the kit and the caboodle uh, with uh, with a live demonstration, which just <laughs> is like, hey, you just signed up for it. Well, man. look at that. Fuck it, we'll do it live. Guess it's happening. Ow, that hurt too. And then when we get back, when we start doing these Mitch Play to Win live streams, we're probably going to shift those to heavy metal live streams, and Burrell's just going to be the co-pilot for all of those, mm -hmm. right? Since he knows how all the shit There's a lot works. of kit and caboodle to get through. This is a fun little thing for me to be here because uh, I made this map. Actually, if you see right at the bottom of the screen there, I worked with our old environment artist, Tristan, to put a little kind of a, a ruinous little city that went through a little bit of a battle. If you zoom in real close, you can see some uh, torn up mechs Where am I looking? Uh, oh, oh. In, the, uh, in the wreckage there. Oh, fuck. That's cool. it's, I think it's a Jaeger mech that's Actually, all trash there. Actually, thank you for that. Yeah. You know, I move so quickly a at work. Yeah. <laughs> You so know. I think Tristan and I were just like, I have these ruin assets that are kind of cool, so we just put a little yeah. settlement that got torn up in an old mech battle along the yeah. way. Commander. Just a little touch. So let's try to move the Centurion up on the plateau as far as we can. Something like this? Yeah, and then next turn he'll get the chance to attack. This turn he can sensor right, lock one of those wait. light mechs. Let's do it. And then the other two mediums down in the valley can light them up. Yeah, wow. Yeah, it's like you've played this game before. Yeah. All right. So how about this bad boy? Because uh, we don't have any more information than that. They're all just... A uh, piece of advice is the Vindicator is as slow as the Centurion to keep them together. So Vindicator and the Centurion are on that right flank, oh, so that's neat. good. How about this, me or this mech here? Uh, yeah, that's the lead mech. I think that's the Phase 5 mech. It's probably the lighter of the scouts. Oh. It's, yeah, I think that'd probably be an easy one to kill if we can get uh, I like killing. eyes on him. It's a commando. Yeah, we can we can burn down a commando with... Uh, burn down a commando. Two medium mechs. Another question... What do you consider is the most worthless mech in the game? That's, that's an, one for Connor. That's an interesting question. Um, yeah. I would say that the non-PPC Cicada is pretty trash. I don't know which uh, variant that is. I can't remember. You can either pick off the mobile HQ at the front, yeah. which has value because it's part of the primary objective, right. or take out, uh, try to try to hit up that, uh, that commando that we've uh, revealed with the sensor lock. I like this. OK, yeah, that's probably going to nuke it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. <laughs> All right. And what do we got? Yeah, the here? advice from the crew here is yeah. to target the vehicles and to take out the initiative buff from the HQ. So pretty much everyone's in agreement on that shot. Oh, look so at that. Good one. Huh? All and right. then, yeah, now you can take uh, out one of the guards or focus fire on one of the guards if you like. That commando is going to have the least armor, and as you peel away some of its evasion, you can Moving get follow up All right. shots. All right, let's do this. Like uh, advice, jump racing with your nearest bulwark mech where you can draw a lot of fire. Building Interesting. Their heat, limiting their future Yeah, options. I'll do it with... Uh, you could probably do that with the... Else, right? With yeah. the Wolverine, yeah, maybe? Yeah, the Wolverine, maybe yeah. next turn. Yeah. The medium lasers missed, but you're scraping some armor off. There's value there. Scraping. Designer. I looked away for a second. Where did all the armor on that Centurion go? Reporting major armor loss. <laughs> I looked away for one second. I blame you. And all the armor's gone on that <laughs> Centurion already. Uh, uh, tactical Officer 2, could you tell us what happened? I don't know. But, all right, so that's that. Now, how is heavy metal going? I'll tell you, it's one of those things that you, you enjoy saying as a game developer. You may want to sprint or jump on that one. Oh, I was, I was going to fire my LRMs. Oh, yeah, you can do that. Mm -hmm. um, Might want to aim for the vehicles. They're going to be easier to hit, and it'll soften them up for later kills. Uh, the Bulldog yeah. is part of the convoy. But the Striker is the softer of the yeah, two. Yeah, and it's also got the LRMs, which I you know, want to get rid of. All right. Uh, You're saying about heavy metal. Heavy metal. This is one of those weird things. You know, we just had a, a meeting. It's like, okay, status report on everything. We're on track. Oh, wait. Who wants to get some? Um, does he have his ass to me? He, he does. He does. You might want to, if you can get a destination for your melee. Whoa, hold up. No, I'm just looking. Yeah, go ahead. Um, uh, yeah, scraping him with with SRMs would be nice, but if you hit him on the backside with a 70 damage punch, it's going to go straight through whatever it's armor it's, is. Yeah, I know, but I'm going to have You're to turn my back. You're also high on Well, let's see. Like, if you click there and let check the other destination, uh, if you what? change the camera, yeah, sure, and click on that destination, or you, you're still hitting the back, and your back, oh, will, I be, see. Your back will be yeah. oriented right. further away from them. All right. Uh, here, let's make him pay with his life. Hey, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's the money. <laughs> oh, there's an LRM carrier off screen that we haven't seen. That's what. what well, that was you. the striker I just shot. Uh, right. It might be an actual LRM carrier. If All we right. can find and kill that LRM carrier, that might be the priority. Oh, really? Let's actually click up there and, and uh, see. 
Okay, so it's probably one of those mechs down there. This what? If, so if you can get an angle on any of those three mech or those vehicles, excuse me, that might be worth the like this. Yeah, that puts uh, you in a lot of field of fire. You could brace and yeah. uh, oh, that's and, and soak damage, but get eyes on so you can take out that yeah. LRM carrier. Let's go see uh, let's up there where there. that. Commando. Yeah, it's in the back there. You see it in the back of the convoy. What the striker? No, no, no. One more. That guy. Oh, s oh. 60 LRM. Oh shit! Let's kill it. Uh, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Okay, let's I see. I could have, I could have. Uh, let's see. Oh, okay. <laughs> or, you, you or I could have, <laughs> I could have soaked damage, you, like you, you said. You, you can see. You, we'll, we'll see. Uh, uh, there might be ooh, medium lasers and uh, SRMs are not going to be able to hit it. Unfortunately, yeah. you could, yeah. you could run the trebuchet up further. You'd be exposing it to fire, but if you go further, you might be able to get range with your SRMs and medium lasers on the tri on the LRM carrier. Jump! Oh, jump into the forest for sure. Yeah, you're right. low on heat. Let's do that. And take take that. Yeah, take right. out the LRM carrier because that's just going to keep scraping armor off. We can't have that. All right. Now uh, let's look at that LRM carrier. Look at that. I know. I know. Right on the borderline, you could turn oh, off a know. medium laser and probably right. still ensure a kill. Or I could take the damage. I think we're going to need that armor later, or that structure later. Feels like I'm going to lose my mind. Yes! It's destroyed. Okay, uh, I got a question here. Question, ever thought of adding a late post-game event where your mission enemies were replaced with an unmarked Com Guard reclamation squad to take your Argo, excuse me, your Argo and SLDF Atlas off of you? I don't think we've considered that, but Minimal that does care. sound like an interesting Minimal. setup. <laughs> I mean, at the end of a, of a good Battletech campaign, you are running around with quite a bit of lost tech, and I imagine yeah. that <laughs> some elements of the uh, Comstar organization might Where be interested in that. Commander? Huh. Well, uh-oh. Ooh, that Panther's going yeah, for a back I know, shot. I know, I know, I know. Oh, he missed! <laughs> hey! Ah. At the end of the day, poor choices don't matter if you're lucky, right? <laughs> In my experience, there's no such thing as luck. Mm. <laughs> Commando's going for it, too. The Commando's very salty that you punched him previously. Yeah, what are you going to do? Uh. <laughs> Large laser mist, too. Yep. The Wolverine, you can probably kill that Commando if you punch him again. Maybe you could move behind him, hit him with a, a SRM volley. Sort of kind of six of one, half a dozen of the other. I can't move oh, behind him. Oh, you, oh, you can. If you, if you go back, there was a valid destination behind him. There was? Yep, right there. Oh. Well, that's not that's okay. That's not melee, but that's cool. But yeah, yeah. look, his yeah, armor's yeah, yeah, exposed it, on the back. It, that's a soft it. target Let's right let, there. Uh, soft target, fire. Punching all the buttons. Oh, fuck you! No, I think you got him. Yeah, there we Boom. go. Boom. Oh, goodbye. You think he's gonna be okay? I have every confidence he will not be. <laughs> okay, you can do. You can do, uh, what is that, those 90 damage good. worth of lasers to the back or 70 on one location with a melee. Right. We do the 70 on one location yeah. with a melee can because you, is, is those it, two is, hit numbers yeah. were not delicious. Those, and 80 on the hit is nice. Yeah, let's go for that. <laughs> let's let the drama cam play out. On for physical attack. Oh, yeah. That's good. <laughs> All right. Who do we step on? <laughs> I oh, think there's that damn panther, too. What's the melee? 50, 65? Yeah. Eight, no, that's eight, I'm sorry, that's 85. But the, it's no, got I a, was looking at the damage. Oh, yeah, sorry. 65 damage. Yeah. It's got a lot of armor. I think yeah, you're better yeah. off taking out one of the vehicles and then focusing on the guards after the fact. I'm feeling this. I, I think you can take that striker out with a good hit. All right, I'm turning that on Let's so go I don't for forget. It. I understand. Do you, you understand? Gonna bleed some heat Do you understand? Nice. You understand? Uh, advice is to get rid of the vehicles before they get too far away. Yep. So we're in agreement on that one. Yay, thank you. Question, does heavy metal include any flashpoints or hints that move us any closer to the Fourth Succession War? Reporting See you on damage. October 19th. See you on October 19th. Okay, steppy, mm. steppy. Yeah, I don't know. Um, any chance of an adjustment to indirect fire rays so they're easier to tell apart? I don't know that there's a plan for that. Oh, nice. Uh, well, Rogue Tech's got it. Uh, did you take out, what was that, the... Uh, the Bulldog. The Bulldog, nice. Yeah, now I could, what do we got here? 70 is a lot of damage. That is a good amount of damage. Right. And the Wolverine's running a little hot. You could yeah. definitely... Oh, he is. Yeah, you're yeah. right. Could definitely right. punch That's him up. Okay, I can't... All right. Punch him up. Ooh, ooh. Can we, question, can we expect new heavy metal soundtracks? No pun intended. I love John Everett's work on Urban Warfare. I did, too, love... I love John Everett's, John Everett's work, work on, on, on all of our things. And, by the way, as a man... I love John Everest. He's a great guy. He is a wonderful man. But the answer to that one is an official no. Yeah. 
Sadly, he's a John. John is a talented man. That's not sad. It's wonderful. But because he's a talented man, he's also a busy man. Yeah. If you Dummy. shift your positioning to the yeah. right, you could get a, a clean shot I... on uh, the Panther. If you go to the left, you can get a clean shot on the jab. It's just that right. I was thinking of ending the yeah. jab. Let's go for the jab. Right. Oh, wow. Whoa. Those are some good percentages. <laughs> I'll take yeah, let's, it. let's take that guy out. Mm, let's make him an ex-javelin. Not you. You. A javelin emeritus. <laughs> um. Oh, come on. Oh, no. I think he's going down. Yeah, 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 he's going down. <laughs> yeah, you're right, pal. Yeah, yeah, the height, the height bonuses are really nice, Jade Rook. They are very nice. Uh, and we actually uncapped them in Urban Warfare. Yeah, yeah which I like that. It call. has some implications, but I think overall, it definitely in the case of Urban Warfare maps, it was, it was great. Yeah. Um, and I, I'm actually kind of happy. I think, I think it makes having the high ground just have a greater ah, advantage damn. or a greater usefulness. Anakin! Tactical. I have the high ground. Uh, you could go for got? a melee on that guy to yeah, cut through the I evasion. Will. I, I mean, when you're I fighting will. light mechs with medium mechs, especially mechs like the Centurion and the Griffin, it's just easy to punch these dudes up. Especially the, yeah. Uh, oh. oh, legs going out. Yeah, see? Oh. College shot time. And... See. Hmm. There you go. Nice. Commander right. Hatchie wants to know, how do we punch that commando in the leg? The answer, Hatchie, is very precisely. With yeah. extreme precision and accuracy. And prejudice. Yeah, All see, right, now 90s ready? and 80s, this guy's gone. Bada bing! Come on, 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 come on. That's it? Not even a crit. Damn. Not even a crit. Well, he's got Hatchy. no rear armor, that's for sure. Hatchy, what are you looking for? Some sort of logic? Oh, you can get behind him with that. Yeah. Right there? Yeah. <laughs> now, here's the cool thing. Onward. Now, this is actually, we're getting in. See, you, you all you all are in for a treat if you're not as familiar with Battletech rules as perhaps some of the other chat members or myself are. Wow. What we're going to yeah. do is we're going to use, uh, actually, Resolve here. We're going to use um, the other one, uh, Village of Vigilance. The reason we're going to do that is it's going to bump you into the fourth initiative track so that next turn you're going to act before the commando and kill him on the ground. But this turn, our Archangel's going to kill the Panther. So let's go ahead and do that. <laughs> You're probably going to want to use your... Let's Actually, let's see how much uh, heat you're going to build up. So let's go ahead and target that panther. Uh, let's go ahead and dump heat. So let's also use your heats, uh, your, your uh, coolant uh, vent. Let's go ahead and pop that. <laughs> yeah. And now you're going to take out that panther. And the next turn, on initiative four, before the commando can even stand up, you're going to kick him in the face with some SRMs. All right. If this works, there's something in my wallet for you. Okay. Come on! Come on! How? Panthers are so damn tough. God. Really? Okay, uh, we've got a question. Uh, well, there's also advice. Listen to Connor. He knows what he's talking about. Thanks. Thank you. Uh, some recognition, finally. Hey, some recognition for the <laughs> listening skills. <laughs> right. Um, and then the question is, uh, can you showcase DFA with the final kill? I think that's very possible. <laughs> I think that Vindicator, who's been doing very little, I think Tim, maybe, is he in range for a DFA? He is not. No. Oh, he That's has so it. few jump jets. Uh, how, oh, our trebuchet is, though. Yeah, you got to. You got to, right? Actually, I think you might want to soften up the commando before you do that. I don't okay, think he's great wounded. Idea. I don't think he's wounded enough to, I like, to uh, die. I, yeah, that was the trick. Oh, look at that. You can either go for a punch or lasers. I think a punch might do it just to soften up some of the yes, armor. You think so? I think, yeah, I think a punch is the right move here. Punchy McPuncherson. Yeah, let's go for it. Oh, oh hello. I, I almost hit him in the head. That would have been game <laughs> over. That's what I thought was going to happen. It's like, I'm sorry about the DFA. All right. Are we okay. ready? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, are we ready? Let's do it. All right. Is he, is he low enough yet? No, I'm 130? Not you can go right. for the Vindicator. The Vindicator won't kill him. So the Vindicator's up on the plateau. Just angle for a shot. Light him up. Won't kill him. And then we can, uh, I think if you go to the uh, position in front of you, or you can jump jet, too. Nah, that's cool. That's still an that indirect is. shot. You won't be able to hit Damn with all the lasers. There, there that's are. a direct shot. There we are. Yeah, oh, shit. That. All right. Hopefully we won't turn them off. Uh, just turn off your uh, oh, I got LRMs. Anyway. And let's turn right. off that large laser. We don't need the large laser. It's too much heat. 75 damage will be enough to soften him for the <laughs> DFA kill. I, I love that we're playing for the DFA. Yeah, you, the DFA like, kill. you know what I need is some leg damage. Yeah, there we go. We, go. we, we, oh, we exposed some structure. All right, now let's go for that kill. Yeah, he looks soft. He looks soft now. He looks soft. Yes, go to All the right. body, Rocky. <laughs> this guy's a wrecking machine, Rock. He'll knock you into tomorrow. All right. How's this angle? I, that's a great. Yeah, yeah you want to hit from the there side where there's no yeah. armor on. Yeah, right, you want to go from that left side. That's as good as they go. 
All right, we ready? What are you going to give him? I'm going to give him death from above! above! Here we go. Come on. Come on. Yeah! <laughs> that is how you play Battletech, ladies and gentlemen. Fifth in Battletech. Oh, we got a, wow, that's not, no internal damage. We got one oh, internal wait. damage on the Centurion, but like that's minimal. That's like yeah, a day's worth of work for Yang yeah. to just, you know, buff out the And surprisingly the enough, nobody was injured. Yeah. Let's see what we got. Well. You could get a Commando 1B right now. Yeah, I know. I think that's a valuable addition. It is. Uh, no, I agree. And you could sell it, too, if you don't want it. Yeah. Now, we'll see what we get. Yeah. We're going to roll the dice. And... Uh, Large laser. Jeff. Oh, LRM 20. That's a good pickup. Wow, from that nice. LRM, from that LRM carrier. Yeah. All right. That's I'm good leaving pickup. it right here. This has been another thrilling episode of Mitch Plays to Win with Connor Monaghan as the tactical officer. Next week... Uh, hopefully we'll have Zach Hartledge for real, mm -hmm. for really reals. Mm -hmm. Okay, and there we have it. Uh, on behalf of everyone here at Harbrain Schemes, we want to wish you peace and love, peace and love, through superior firepower. Is that how it works? Take us out, Mr. Ho.